I've noticed several of your biggest plays, a couple of your interceptions, you've been playing underneath coverage. That's probably only allowed due to the safety play that you have behind you. So just speak to the safety, literally the safety net that you have behind you in Malachi and Jamal. Uh, so uh, yeah, my job on that is just to uh, stay underneath. So the ball elevated, that kind of let the hat safety go make a play on that. And I got anything underneath, so playing like a low, a low technique man uh, kind of technique. Two questions. A, just want to make sure you were okay. So, I mean, obviously, you finished the game, but I, you, you dinged up there pretty good for a minute. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of the relationship between Dominic and Luther Burden, and I'm sure you'll be heavily involved with trying to defend Luther Burden. So, can right. uh, can you just talk about that situation? But first, address your health, and then and then uh, that yeah, challenge. Uh, definitely good. Just uh, shaking up a little bit. Got, uh... Not, one knocked out at me a little bit uh, with a little headache, but uh, up to now I was good. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely, uh, I think they're going to try to use, uh, I think Luther kind of went into that Dominic, Don Bela, uh, Dominic Lovett's five men uh, when he left and came here. So definitely looking forward to that matchup. To your left, um, considering every game, including the SEC Championship game last year, except the Mizzou game, was won by double digits, how did that game and the way you won it, down 10, under 10 to go, help you? beat Ohio State when things were tight and close down the stretch? Uh, just being able to come with, uh, being able to overcome adversity. Uh, a lot of adversity that game when we went to uh, Missouri last year. Uh, definitely was a tough environment to play in, but I think any road game in the SEC is a tough environment to play in. So just seeing the team come together, uh, not, not bow our heads, uh, being able to uh, battle together and come back. So um, when the Ohio State moment came, we definitely lived in that moment uh, when we played Missouri, so we knew how to handle it. We, we saw Jalen Walker make some plays in that game on Saturday. Just uh, what was that like as a teammate to see him have that success? And how have you seen him sort of grow over the course of this year? Uh, definitely needed him to come on big. Um, proud of the way he played on Saturday and uh, the impact he made to the game. Uh, wish he would have kind of been, uh, as he went after the ball, so only if he would have recovered it. So but, uh, definitely uh, for him to put them behind the sticks, uh, proud of the way he come along. We're going to keep him to come along with him being able to pass rush the way he do. Um, on the opening drive, uh, Florida got the ball to Wilson a lot because they moved it around a lot. Um, Two-parter, how'd you all adjust and stop that, and how much does Missouri try to do that with Burden and also with Louise? Uh, yeah, I think Florida did a good job that first drive um, using a lot of number three. Um, but like I said, uh, we made a couple adjustments with that, um, being in better coverages and, uh, diff and making different adjustments, um, kind of knowing who he is and knowing what they want to do with him. And um, I think they came back to that play later in the game, and uh, Javon Bullard made a good hit. So I think they're going to do a lot of that with uh, Luther Burton or Theo Weiss, but they got a couple good receivers. Uh, so uh, just looking forward to the uh, game plan. So we're going to get started on the day. With that Florida game, that was the second game in a row where you guys give up a touchdown to open the game, and it seems like the defense sort of settles. What does it take for everybody to kind of lock in after something like that and you know, not panic? And the way you guys have the last two games. Uh, so I think the play that teams had success on against us, uh, they're going to try to come back to that. So uh, after, after they had that good first drive, kind of going to the sideline, making adjustments, knowing what they're going to try to come back to, and looking, knowing what they're going to try to attack us with. So um, just knowing how to approach it and uh, knowing how to handle it. So uh, I think once we got to the sideline, we talked, we talked over it and knew how to go about it from there. Tuggy, do you remember the first time you went up against Ladd uh, at a Georgia practice uh, when you transferred here? and? It was like to see him out there Saturday performing like he did given the back injury he had. Uh, yeah, my first time going up against Lab when I got here that 2021 summer. So um, I think this was at the last rear shirt year. So uh, we had a couple receivers banged up. Remember George Pickens went down. I think Jermaine Burton was bad on injury from that spring. So Lad got the opportunity, made the most of it, and um, and had an excellent, uh, excellent season that season um, and led on. So uh, just seeing him being able to go out there, come back off his back injury, uh, was real exciting knowing what he able to do. And, um, he had a big part of the offense, so glad that he stepped up. Taki, I get, I assume you were able to go to go against uh, Dejan uh, in, in scrimmages during the course of your career. What's it like to play against him? What, what makes him such a difficult back for other teams? Uh, just being able to uh, sustain, like hold your gap, uh, being though like he kind of uh, making gaps before like before the gap is made. So uh, y'all see, uh, it's kind of he kind of hard to tackle because you, you barely know where he at because he he able to cut and he just. I don't know, he's real shifty, so he can make you miss it. You don't really know if he can run with power, so it's real, it's real hard going against a guy like that. Yeah, Taki, question about the smile check. Do you wear it all week long or just around the building, or do you just wear it? Like, when you get a warning check? Right. 
No, you, you wear it all week long. To, um, so I had it all this week to after the game against Missouri, and then the DBs will vote on to um, who we think had the best week out of the DBs that week and uh, present it to them then. Yeah, as a guy who's probably matched up against him in practice, what makes Marcus Rosemey Jack Saint such an effective blocker? Uh, Marcus, strong hands, um, physical at the point of attack, so, uh, and you're not small, so uh, definitely got to make sure you got your stuff strapped up when you're going up against Marcus, especially on the blocking, on the blocking time. More questions for Taki? Did you say that the DBs vote themselves for that award? No, uh, yeah, the DB group vote on, vote on uh, what DB they think um, should have it. In the, in the locker room, right after the game? Or yeah, right, right, right after the game. Okay. So like a secret ballot or what? <laughs> <laughs> Show of hands? Um, I mean, so um, so we probably had, so like this week, it was uh, out of me and Kamari, and then uh, we kind of stepped away and let it go from there. Thanks. All right, thank you, Taki.